Hi, this is just a, a quick recording to show you how to upload, uh, up upload files into a course or module in Moodle 2.6. Okay, here's a module in Moodle, in Moodle 2.6. We have the general area on top and we're just showing one other area down below that we're not showing all the different areas. Now usually when you bring something in it drops in at the bottom of a section and then you've got to move it. Okay, you can only drop it in here. Okay, first thing, we, there's several ways to do this. We're going to do the simplest way first. If you've got an up-to-date browser, you can do this. First, turn editing on. Okay. Then what we will do is we will we'll put it in this week here. So we'll pull in our file explorer that shows our files. Maybe grab a file, click and drag a file. Oh, it looks like it won't drop anywhere there, but if you go down to the bottom, you'll see add a file here appears. Do you see that there now? Okay, add a file here and drop it there. And then it's uploading that into Moodle. Now, one thing you notice is that it keeps on the line here an exact description of or the exact file name that was before. Now, that was quite a good file name, Design of an Online Discussion Assignment, but sometimes you have more, uh, uh, more, or more obscure names, so you may need to change it. Now, you'll see here on the ones above it, you can edit any title by just clicking on the little pen behind it. But that pen happens to be missing here, and that really is because there's a little bug in the system and it doesn't update. So I'm just going to refresh here, and there you see we have the movement item, the movement icon. We can move it to anywhere we like, and then if we'd like to change the title, we can change the title. Okay, right. Now let's delete that one and uh, do it another way, slightly more complicated way. Okay, and this one here we'll use the add an activity or resource. Okay, now it's quite important here that you don't, this is a resource we're adding, not an activity, a file. So resources are down here at the bottom. Don't get confused with in assignment 2.2 here, upload a single file. Don't get confused with that. Okay, it's down towards the bottom. Pick file and then add. Now, one reason for doing it this way is you can put in more information about the file you're uploading. It's not as quick. So we put in a, a name that will appear on the page. So a, a on, um, so that's not the name of the file, but it's more descriptive, okay? Uh, and then you could have some description here. I'm not going to... To be honest with you, I prefer to put good names on it, descriptive names, so people don't have to see the description there. Okay, you can show that description on the, on the, on the course page, by the way. So if you want to do a short name and a, a much more meaningful description here, you could do that. Okay, we'll just show it for the moment. Okay. So here's where the files go, and you can drag and drop them to here. So again, I can go to my file manager, take that, and drop it in there. Now, if you don't have the latest version, or uh, I think it's Internet Explorer uh, 10, version 10, that won't work. I think if you've Chrome or Firefox, it will work, okay? So if that doesn't work, you'll need to add files using this. So click add a file and then you go into your file picker which is a fairly standard item that crops up all over the place we'll have to upload a file remember Moodle is out there in the cloud and you may have a file on your computer locally so you've got to upload it into the cloud you choose a file and basically now we're going in looking around our computer I think mine is on my computer on drive H and uh, let's see there it is there okay click on open okay it's specified it hasn't started uploading it yet I think this is that you can change the name but I wouldn't worry about that upload a file 
and that should upload and it should appear in here which it didn't seem to Save and return to course if it did appear there, but uh, it seems to have worked despite the fact that it didn't appear in that area. Okay, let's just edit that, see what it looks like. There it is there. It just didn't appear the last time. Okay. So there it is. Sorry, I uh, made a little bit of a mistake in this recording, but I'm not going to redo it. There you get the idea, and it's uploaded there. By the way, if you do want to change how it performs, that actually seems to go automatically into download, which is often the way you like it to do for students. Um, if you want to change that, uh, let's see what we can do. You can edit the settings. So you're back into this form. I think I should have brought your attention to that's forced download. You can sh show it in a new window, open it up instead of the page you've been looking at. But I would say for files, forced download is probably the best option. So we save and return to course. And uh, as I said before, anytime you add a new item, it adds it in at the very bottom. So you can pull that up to the point that you'd like it. Let me put it up there. You'll see that there's a. you can have a description underneath here, which you can get rid of if you want to, again, by editing the settings. OK, another thing, I think if you look to here, nope, sometimes it has edit settings over here on the left. So um, you can just edit click edit settings over here but obviously edit edit settings over here on the right is the place to go okay sorry for the disjointed nature of this i just wanted to get it out and i don't have more time to fix it up so there you go thanks for listening